this is part one of my reckless journal series that I'm going to be doing on this channel I'm basically just going to be showing you my reckless journal when you open it up it's just got this really colourful thing in it here and this is an activity page quite a few of the pages on from this aren't activity pages the next one I just put a collage over I think it was just like had people's names on it who had helped make the book but I just did a collage of loads of different things just to kind of fill the page this one is colour this entire page and I got four different types of wax and I basically melted them onto the page and first up did these watercolours over them then the next page is actually one of my favourite pages this is where you had to throw something over it so it said get a bowl, put paint on it, throw it on, throw it however you want and I just got a paintbrush and I just flicked loads of paint and I actually think this looks really cool you can see how the oil of the wax has come through on this page so that doesn't look very good but this page I actually think that looks pretty cool I quite like that framed or something then on this page it says scratch using a sharp object and I've sort of scratched you can't really see it's difficult to scratch on it without ripping the paper like I have up here but um, I just decided to draw a pair of scissors instead of scratching it all then this page is my favourite page I'm not actually doing this in order because I haven't done all the pages so I'm just skipping to the pages that I've done this was basically draw loads of circles and I love this page so much so I started off as you can see here loads of pencil sketches and then I gradually coloured them in and made it look like it was sort of bleeding through all the black and white then this page was tie a string to the book and whack the book like swing it around wildly and stuff like that I did that and then I thought what am I going to do on this page and as you can see I did this in oils so oil paints but very thick oil paint and then um, I managed to engrave into the oil to get this sort of imprint and it's actually the Grinch so I drew a little Grinchy hand which I think turned out pretty well this page was also an activity climb up high and drop it and I did that and then I didn't really know what to do because this you just have then a blank page so I decided to do a tree maybe like drop it from a tree and or draw these little apples falling about I don't know I think it looks quite nice this page is bring this book in the shower with you I haven't actually done that yet but I thought I'd draw something so that when I'm in the shower um, I'll put this up to the shower head and then it will make all like the colours run and look nice that's why I used loads of different shades of blue this page is your test page for your pens and paints so what I did is I got every single paint <laughs> and um, just drew it into these sort of like candy floss balls all over it and then I got all my pens and did these little hearts this page is just an instruction page that says doodle over the cover, the title page, the instructions, copyright page, all these different things. Fold down the corners or your favourite pages and I thought I'd just draw lollipops and sweets. I don't know why. This page is create a non-stop line and I'm going to sort of bring it out so you can see it. Yay! So you start here and then you just do a non-stop line and I did it as you can see here, just sort of rippled it upon itself and then moved it out and then rippled it again moved it out and just did it like that to create this really nice pattern I think it looks really good I think it looks a little bit like you know when you cut a tree and it has all like the age lines on the tree I think it looks a little bit like that now this page is a hide a secret message somewhere in the book which I have done and then you just have two blank pages so you can do whatever you want so I put hearts because whenever I think of secret messages I always think of like love letters and then this side I don't know why I drew a reindeer I just did this page is doodle over the top of this page so as you can see it already has writing on it and I just painted over it and then did a silhouette of two people I think if you're stuck for ideas these silhouette ideas are really easy so that's it for my wreck this journal part one video I hope you enjoyed it um every time I do a page I'm probably going to film it and make it into like a collective video or I might just do this again I'm not sure I'm really enjoying doing my wrote this journal if you liked it and like comment and subscribe and if you have a journal and you have any ideas for mine then please tell me because I'm getting really stuck for ideas also just a quick tip if you're going to use oil paint which I love oil based paints but if you're going to use them because the paper's so thin it will bleed through the pages and so that's something that's just causing me a little bit problem now so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you very soon bye